the last vice president candidate, vice presidential uh, nominee, was you know Sarah Palin. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, ah. and you know what? I, I will go on the defensive here. He would have won if Sarah Palin didn't open her mouth. <laughs> That's asking a lot. That That's surprised. Lot. That surprised everybody. The strategy behind Sarah Palin was brilliant. But I don't think they knew her level of intelligence. They just looked at her and said, she's okay. eye candy. And, well, she technically was. For people in the White House, I mean, I'm sure Clinton would have been there. You know? And she was. Uh, she Monica was. Monica Lewinsky? Sarah Palin's a major upgrade to Lewinsky. Exactly. But what was Lewinsky's position? Intern. Not a uh, running mate. Well, we, know, we all know how Sarah Palin got there. And, and, I mean, and, and you know, know and her daughters are following in the footsteps. She in. She, when she seen Russia from her window, they yeah. called her to come to the U.S. to run with McCain. <laughs> and then she went rogue on them. That's the problem. She, um, she went rogue. I love that term. <laughs> she went rogue. And then she did Saturday Night Live, I believe. Yeah, she did. So you go no, rogue. That was Tina Fey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she, no, she did it, though. Yes, she did. Yeah, she did. Yes, I know. I'm and confused. Tina Fey did her better than she did herself. Yes. But yes. you know what's interesting? Of the Republicans right now, Sarah Palin is the brightest. Because <laughs> she chose not to run. Yes. Oh, but she man. understood the ramifications. Yes. She's, She's doing she, fine where she is. When she said that she was thinking of running in 2012, I felt like your buddy that we watched earlier. What's his name? Um, uh, Ted Nugent? Yeah, I felt like Ted Nugent. I was either going to go to jail or be dead. If Sarah Palin ran, you know, because if you, for you folks that don't know, Ted Nugent was on uh, CNN, and he was uh, pretty much <laughs> going against Obama, saying if Obama gets reelected, by this time next year he either be dead or out the country, and um, or in jail, or in jail. jail. I'm sorry, either one is fine with either. most people, I'm sure. I think we've all come to that consensus. Yes, we, we hold you up to that. What was Ted Nugent's hit? Uh, cat scratch fever. Cat scratch. Fever. Is that another term I should know? No. A, oh my God! What? Okay. That was his one song. Ted Nugent is a rock star. I never heard of him. Exactly. Well, oh. He, he he hasn't been uh he hasn't been a real part on actually a, a a big part of the music industry for at least thirty years. Um, most of the people that follow him are people my age who uh, reside in trailer parks. Um, ah, so you can imagine, and 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 his and his audience is exclusively white. Um, there, I, I I can't even name a black person that I've ever met that actually liked or listened to Ted Nugent, which is something that is you know it, it's kind of interesting now that you bring it up, bring him up because there are a lot of white artists that are you know a lot of a lot of blacks and Spanish and different cultures follow, but I can't recall anyone other than white trash following <coughs> Ted Nugent. Um, it's, 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 it's excellent. It's an excellent comment. I'm holding him. I, I, I want him yes. to promise me. Yeah, I promise. Want, I, I want, want him to promise. promise me that he will do himself in, and I will yeah. gladly supply, uh, being that he was at the National Rifle Association uh, event, um, I'm sure I wouldn't have to, but just in case, I will hand him the gun, and I will fill the chambers for him. <laughs> so, um, you know that you know that it is what yeah. it is with Ted Nugent. Well, I, how about this, Ted? Barack's gonna win. Yes. Kill yourself now. You lack the courage of your convictions. And we'll we say. can have your funeral and his election party on the same day. Yeah. Wow. On top of the funeral, actually. At, at both, and it'll probably be bigger than what it should be, just for the fact that Obama got reelected. We'll put the punch ball on his casket, <laughs> on top. <laughs> I put an Obama T-shirt in this cat. Yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough for politics. We're gonna move on. Uh, we appreciate you guys again. You can check us out. We're gonna try to be visible everywhere: Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, UStream, Blog Talk. We're hitting the market, man. Get us out there, man. We want to come to your events. We can do this live. We can do this all day. Trust me. We all have the time if you're paying. <laughs> we want this. We want to be here for you guys. We want to be you guys' avenue. We want to. We want to be able to give you guys a voice, a medium, 
for real life. We, you know, this is not a fabricated show. We're not just doing this for entertainment. We're, we're doing this for the people, man, because these are things that need to be discussed. These are issues. The voice that's not heard at all. At all. Which brings me to our next topic is, you know, what's going on locally. You know, we're here in Georgia, for those of you who don't know. We're, we're here in the, in the outskirts of Atlanta. I'm not even going to say our specific location, but uh, I, I heard a story today. A uh, six-year-old in Midlandsville, <laughs> Georgia, was handcuffed and arrested because apparently she was so out of control, nobody could control her in the classroom. Lou? Correct. Yeah, well, just take a deep breath. Let, let me qualify this in, in, in Lou language. She was black. She's six years old. She's in Milledgeville, Georgia, the deep south. This wouldn't have happened in Dunwoody or in Buckhead. Oh, no. Probably wouldn't have happened in Atlanta either because there are actually black <laughs> people in Atlanta who actually will speak up when something wrong happens. Mm. Apparently, the blacks in Milledgeville see no problem with it and just shrug their shoulders and walked away. Oh. This, this young lady uh, was apparently out of control. They had to call in the police. Six years old. Six years old. Six. She was out of control, according to them. She was, uh, and I and, and I believe that one of the one of the statements was that she was peeling peeling paint off the walls, pushing over her shelves. Right. Bit. I think she bit the principal. Right. Is that correct? And then so, that, bit then somebody. That sound like a temper tantrum. And then yes, the, that's that's when they brought in grown ass. Milledgeville police. Police. And uh, Milledgeville's finest. They couldn't they couldn't handle her, so they had to uh you know, they had to put her in handcuffs and kept her in handcuffs on you know until I believe her parents came. It's it's typical. Absolutely. It's yeah. it's typical and it's 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 a shame. I hate to break things down in racial terms, but I call it as it is. They didn't have okay, I don't see any white kids in Lawrenceville, uh Swanee, Georgia being handcuffed oh, no. when they have fits and they do have fits because i see them at my job oh, every god. single week oh god so uh, you know once again we go back to uh, it, it comes it, it brings back of uh, the memories of the week after the election when white people had the nerve to come to me and say well there's no more racism in america we have a black president now and now whenever i bring it up i use two words Tavon Martin. Ugh. Oh my yeah. God. And then that's when they start squirming. And then I tell them that they, they owe me $28.17. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. If I seen George Zimmerman anywhere, that would be his last sighting. Because I have two kids myself. I'm a father of two. I have a beautiful two year old son and a less than three, three month old daughter. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something. Somebody following my kid and they kill him and they don't get questioned. They don't get arrested. And they just walk in the streets free and they try to lie and say that my child attacked them so that gave them a reason to shoot me. Man, they don't need the jail. I would not need the jail. I, stuff like this shouldn't be happening, man. I feel like this is like the 50s. I feel like Dr. King needs to come out and do an address. Like, what's going on, man, that this is okay? And people, honestly, I, Florida, stand up. We're not even in Florida, but I take the drive. This shit got to stop, period, man. I, ah, I was listening to Ricky Smiley, and he got so frustrated. He couldn't even continue. You could tell they had a script they were following. He couldn't even continue his show. He was so frustrated. And that's, I don't understand why more people aren't being upset about this. They're just kind of like, oh, well, you know, we'll see what happens. And that's, maybe, that's maybe, precisely maybe why it happens. Was a thug. That's precisely why it happens because people are being apathetic, and you cannot be apathetic in these terms. I don't even have to go that far. It occurred to my son. It happened to my son. My son was really? uh, going to pick up his uh, my uh, his his girlfriend uh, in her car. He you know pick her up from from work, I believe. I I, I can't recall where he was here in Georgia, but anyway, um, someone fitting his description dark skin, uh, you know, uh, was spotted, you know, doing something, and uh, they decided that my son was uh, the perpetrator, and I'm talking about <coughs> eight to ten cop cars surrounding him with guns drawn, Oh my God. okay, mm -hmm. and he comes to me shaking afterwards, telling me about the incident, 
and basically the incident ended with him you know you know them realizing that they had the wrong fella mm. and oh sorry my bad have and a good my night. bad have a good night you know so support your your local police this got to stop and man. that's and that's why when they ask me to donate for the for the for the police uh <laughs> for the be- benevolent society <laughs> okay and oh and when they called me about it i said um no, no, thanks. Uh, you know, frankly, I'd rather you kiss my black ass. <laughs> yes. That's what we're all about here on Truth Be Told. This is our show. We say what we want. You don't like it, change the station. Please do. But guess what? You're going to listen. If we're saying <laughs> stuff that's relevant to you. I guarantee you, 80% of the people listening to this have had a bad experience with the police. There might be 20% of y'all that live in a good old boy neighborhood. I take offense to that. Do you live in a good old boy neighborhood? No, I've never so had a problem. I've never had a problem with a cop. I said 20%. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you fall into that 20%? I'm trying to be a cop. But those other 80? <laughs> oh, my God. You can pay me enough to be a cop. <laughs> you can pay me enough. They don't get paid. Yeah, I know. I heard about that. Yeah, they start out, I believe, at what, 26000 What? Out of the academy? You're kidding. Uh, no. Not kidding. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so we... <laughs> So we so we so we, we continue with this, man. We we have to be more aware of our communities. People have to get more involved. We have to take more accountability. That's the biggest word. That's the point of this whole conversation. Whether we're talking about local, whether we're talking about family, whether we're talking about politics, take accountability. Vote, man. Vote for who you want to vote to. If you want to vote for Mitt Romney, first off, I'm gonna tell you to give me your dealer's number because you're nuts. <laughs> and but please, if that and please pass the bomb. <laughs> pass that. But if that's what you're going to do, do it. Make a decision and yes. be that. I don't like all this hiding. I don't like all of these closet voices. People talking, but they know they won't be heard. If you're going to do it, man, do it. Be a man. Stand up. This is your family. These are your kids going into these education systems. Your kids have to deal with this. We're going to be gone eventually. Somebody has to start that sentence. Somebody has to break this mold, man. This shit, this shit ain't going to change, Wolf. Exactly. And might I say something, he makes a good point. Stand up, definitely exercise your right. But do me this favor. Don't go by what you see on television about what they say, be the written Mitt Romney, Obama. Do your own research. Absolutely. Each station is behind someone else. Do your own research and find out who these people are that you're electing to tell you what to do. So please do that. Don't listen to television do your own research and find out for yourself that's the best way to vote yes, we sir. want and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end the politics session on that because i feel if we go any further it's gonna just get ugly you, know, you have to take you have to take things in doses but here on truth be told if we feel it we're gonna do it sometimes a segment might go longer than what we have planned but if that's what we need to do to get your attention to get your attention to get online and look up mitt romney or look up barack Obama, see see his success rates Look at what the man has done in his four years. Because it's some people in our community, we got a black president, and they know nothing that he's done. That's, all it, that's the only reason people voted for him at some point. It has to be bigger than that. I'm, I'm a, I love Barack, but it has nothing to do with just because he's black. Exactly. He gets results. I feel like this shithole we've been in of an economy is actually starting to break from the ground that we've been at. So like I said, we're going to end the segment there, man, and we're going we're gonna, to... We're gonna, Take it to you one more time, and then we're going to end you off. And unless you guys give us some comments, call us, man. We're going to have the call in lines available. Text us, uh, leave messages, whatever you need to do to get us where you're at and pay us. That's what we want to be involved in. Nine on your in. numbers. That's what we want to be involved <laughs> in. If you just want to hear Lou talk to you in Spanish, we have a price for that. If you would like Wolf to take you on a opening workout run to get you back into shape, we have a product for that. If you would like me to give you singing lessons, lessons in love, lessons in cooking, we have, a, we have an avenue for that. We pretty much do everything because at this popular retailer that we work at, uh, there's no hope for the future. Not at all. It's really, it's really what I like to call a holding cell. <laughs> and I've done my time. I don't know about you fellas, but I'm ready to get out. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I've, I've, I've saved money and lived better um, for a long time. And uh, 
I really don't have a, a use for them right now. Um, you know, uh, there are no 